Hey everybody, my name's Kyle and this is Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. Whenever I hear there's new music from Sting, I instinctively wonder which Sting we're going to hear. Will it be Jazzy Sting, or Pop Sting, Rock Sting, or Dance Sting, Crooner Sting, or Classical Baroque Sting? Well, considering the format of his current touring band is a power trio cleverly dubbed Sting 3.0, I think we have a fairly good idea what to expect on the new song, I Wrote Your Name Upon My Heart. So, yes, Rock Sting is what we get in 2024 with this punchy new single. Backed by drummer Chris Moss and longtime guitarist Dominic Miller, Sting delivers a slightly stripped-down version of the kind of rock he offered up on his most recent full-length, 2021's The Bridge. I also hear shades of his Mercury Falling era, which is a welcome sonic reference. And not just sonically, actually, the songwriting here feels very much from that period as well. To be fair, Sting can be a bit formulaic in his songwriting, and this new song certainly hews closely to a tried and true template. In a sort of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it sort of way, I don't really mind that. I Wrote Your Name Upon My Heart is super playful, short, and sweet. The rhythm is very bass-driven, and the melody is very bass-forward, so Sting is naturally right in his wheelhouse here. There's also a sort of classic blues rock character at the center of everything, falling somewhere between Buddy Holly and Bo Diddley. I do dig the throwback vibe of it. Still, it feels a bit more like an album track to me than a single. It doesn't really do enough to stand out on its own. Rather, it makes me say, cool, is there an album on the way? As of right now, it appears the answer is no. I would be remiss, however, if I didn't mention Sting's vocals on the track. From the moment he stepped up to the microphone and sang the first notes, I was very taken aback. The 72-year-old rock legend may finally be starting to truly sound his age here with a surprisingly gruff and raspy vocal that doesn't sound put on, but rather natural for him at this stage, if that makes sense. It's not as gravelly as, say, later Bob Dylan and Tom Waits, but still rougher than we're accustomed to hearing from him. Upon repeat plays, I noticed it less and less, but it hit me hard on my first listen. So I'll be curious to hear what you all think of Sting 3.0 on I Wrote Your Name Upon My Heart, and will you be seeing him on his tour when it kicks off later this month? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Once again, my name's Kyle, and this has been Track by Track. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.